once they are discharged, it's where the problem is. To see that they are keeping in good company and they're not going back to the old friends and things like that. Keep in touch with them, motivate them, you know, encourage them and look into their employment status. So this particular boy comes from a very good family, good background, and he's the only boy among two sisters. He was caught taking drugs, and when he was sentenced, he told that he accidentally took drugs, not that he liked drugs. And not because of liking. Somebody told me to take drugs, so I took it. Anyway, he was, once you are caught, that's it. So he was sentenced to six months rehabilitation. So I used to follow this boy. I want him to give up completely after the first attempt. Usually, after the first attempt, it's very easy to go back to the second attempt. And then they will go to the third attempt. Once they're stuck in the third attempt, then it's a long sentence. So, I suppose this particular boy I was watching him, counseling him, and uh, at the end of the six months in the drug center, he was ready to go home. So, what happened? Accidentally, I happened to be the counseling day and he saw me, he was going to be released. He came to thank me and to promise his mother that he would never go back to drugs. It was a mistake that he made. He's learned his lesson. He said it. He's learned his lesson and I want to make it clean. I want to please my mother. I want to be a good son to my mother. Father passed away. So he says, I will study well and come up in life. Although I don't have a father, but you are my guardian. And now I'm so happy to go home and join my family. He studied hard graduated, finished his O-level, went to do his A-levels, then he joined a firm, and that firm gave him opportunities to travel, you know, the job or something like that. He took me to be like a foster father, in a sense. And he has been touched very much by me. And that was a very good memory I have.